Hey guys, your inner chakras. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. All right, guys, we're just going to start with some oracles and see where it takes us. I'm going to take one from each just to see what's going on in the situation. Don't forget to flip the energies accordingly. Let's do it. Let's do it. What are you dealing with, right? All right, here and now, guys. Here and now. Okay. Uh, they're trying to say, okay, do I stay in the past or do I go to the future, right? This could be the way you're feeling. Do I keep dealing with the person in the past or do I deal with this new person, you know, that's coming along? Like, what do I do, right? The past or the future. Actually, let me slide that there. Past or the future. Let's see what the heart space is. And then we're going to check the energy of this connection. Where's the heart space? They just want balance, right? They they want balance, temperance, you know, two heads, one mind, or whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But they want balance. They're just trying to figure out, do I stay where I'm at? Or do I go to the future and try something new? Or that could be how you're feeling. Should I stay in the past? Or should I, you know, try something new? All right, let's check the energy of this. And then we put some tarot on it. Mm, the angel of love here. The angel of love is here. So, you could be in love with two people. <coughs> and unsure about which one you're going to choose. Let's do one more for energy. One more. Well, this one flip. Let's take it. We have a caring connection. So, you do want to be in a caring connection. Um, maybe you have a choice of two. Maybe you just been through some things with the person from your past and you want to try something new. But either way, you want a caring connection and trying to find balance, right? Here and now, do I say the past or go to the future? All right, guys, what is going on in this connection? Let's see what's going on. Somebody is burdened with where they are right now um they may not even be offering love to this connection that they're in they're definitely burdened uh they could also be burdened to the fact that they're not ready to offer love to someone else either or they're just not offering love to the person that they're with currently they could be burdened about their current situation uh this is a king of cups in reverse and when that king of cups is in reverse, they're not giving love to nobody. You know, because the king, the king of cups is very emotional. And then it's the devil in reverse. So they could be trying to release an energy, a devilish energy, any type of addictions that they may have with this person, anything like that. And they're trying to get clarity on the situation, or maybe they do have clarity. And the clarity is, wherever they're at currently, it's unbalanced. So they're trying to find their balance or whatever. So that's why they're thinking about, do I stay where I'm at? Or do I go to a future, a new future, a new connection, a new something, right? They feel like they chose wrong. That's one of the reasons why they're burdened. So whoever they're with right now, they're burdened and they do have passion for someone else. They have passion for someone else that they want to offer this love to. Three of Cups, it looks like they're ready to go and celebrate with someone else. They're ready to have good times, you know, or whatever. And they're not afraid anymore. Maybe they know how they truly feel. Maybe they're ready to be with someone else. Maybe they're having good times with this other person. And they're just not afraid anymore to step out on faith. Nine of Cups, guys. Uh, their emotional fulfillment is elsewhere. Wherever they're at currently, it's unbalanced. They feel that their wish fulfillment is probably in the future. Because if you're thinking about moving on, it's not where you're at, right? It's not where you're at. Let's just say what it is. And they also feel like that they can build with this person with the Ten of Pentacles as well. Right now where this person is at, or you, they feel like the connection is just unbalanced. It's not an equal give or take. They may even feel that their person is taken from them and given to another as well. 
but they haven't made any moves. Chariot is still in reverse, but they, they're quiet, they're standing to themselves, but deep down in their soul, while they're sitting in hermit, they do know that they have passion for someone else. They have a passion for someone else, so they don't know, should I stay in the past, or should I go to the future, right? They're definitely hopeful about this person that excites them. This Three of Cups here, I guess when they hang out with this person, they have good times or whatever. They are hopeful about that connection, but they're also frustrated as well. Um, but they're on top of their frustrations with the Seven of Wands upright. It's like they're frustrated, but they're just taking care of one thing at a time. Doing one thing at a time, doing what they need to do. They may take this Leap of Faith, guys, with this Fool card here and this Nine of Cups. They're going to... They're at the edge. They're teetering on jumping ship. Um, they're definitely thinking about moving on. They feel like they can build with this other person. Whoever that future person is, that's where they're they want to be. And it could also be this Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody that they feel they can build with. Somebody that they feel wouldn't take from them with that Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody that can meet them where they are or whatever. Especially the Queen of Pentacles. Um... That energy right there, they got money. They're definitely comfortable. But they haven't made any moves. They're not in hangman, though. Um, they just haven't walked away from where they're at. So they're still kind of sitting in it, pondering, trying to figure it out. Should I stay? Should I go? They're definitely seeking balance. And they want to be in a more loving, caring connection. They feel like... They've been riding this karmic wheel till the wheels fall off. They're facing their judgment now that they're frustrated with who they are with. That it's definitely a karmic wheel going nowhere fast, right? Different problems every week, whatever, every month. Too many problems. But when it comes to taking this leap of faith, diving off the deep end, they're stuck. They're up in their head. It's the two of swords, just like the here and now. So they're like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I take this leap of faith or not? And it's the Five of Swords in reverse. It's like this person has been betrayed before, possibly. Or maybe they did some betraying, which they probably are if they have a choice between two. But they just want to agree to disagree. They don't want to argue and fight anymore. They just want to agree to disagree. Spirit, clarify some of these burdens here that this person is dealing with. Let's be nosy. They do have regrets. They have regrets. And they're going to move on to a wand in reverse. So they do have regrets. Uh, maybe it's just too many problems for this person. And they're going to eventually move on. They've healed their heart from uh, whatever happened here. It's definitely they chose wrong. And they're going to end whatever this connection is that they're in. Holy Spirit, clarify this Knight of Wands. Who do, who do they have passion for? Let's be nosy. It's an emperor in reverse. And they're not following their intuition. So they do have passion for someone. But they're kind of like afraid to take that leap of faith. It looks like they're going to eventually. But they're they're afraid. Maybe they just don't want to hurt anyone or whatever, whatever. Holy Spirit, King of Cups in reverse. Why aren't you offering love anymore? They feel used by this person. They feel used, feel taken advantage of. And they want victory. So if they really release this devil energy, they can see victory with another person, right? Uh, they can also be encouraged by other people. Because the Six of Wands, you have people behind you that could be encouraging you to go forward, could be telling you, you know, go ahead, go get it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Who is this Nine of Cups here? Their Nine of Cups goes to their Ten of Cups. That's their wish fulfillment. This is where they want to be. This is where they want to be. They feel like they can build with this person. They may even want a family with this person or bring their families together. Depending on the ages. No, they have a family. Ten of Pentacles. There's no new beginnings if they walk away. So they currently have a family. And there's no new beginnings if they walk away. They're, they want to go back to the past. They want to go to a past person. Mm. Alright, Holy Spirit. 
clarify this fool card. It's an empress. They want to take a leap of faith to go be with an empress. But they haven't moved on yet. The Queen of Pentacles could be the person that they're with now as well. I don't know. But they haven't walked away yet. They may even feel like that they jumped into a connection with this person too fast. Without thinking. Yeah, but here's the ending. So they feel like they jumped in too fast with this person. And they're just going to end things. Yeah, they're getting off this karmic wheel, guys, and they're going to go forward with the Nine of Wands energy. They're facing their own judgment. They're definitely moving on. It's a tower in reverse. They could be thinking about going back to whoever this person is from the past to rebuild their tower, whatever happened there. Five of Swords in Reverse Spirit. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry about the sniffling and sneezing and all that crap. I can't. Yeah, they just want to agree to disagree about whoever this, whoever was being sneaky. Maybe they was being sneaky themselves as well. Keeping this past person in their back pocket. Um, it's the King of Wands in Reverse. They're not saying anything though. Maybe they're sneaking, thinking about sneaking away from their person. Yeah, they're sneaking away to be happy. They want to be happy. Somebody's choosing to be happy. They want to be in another connection with someone else. Here's the Eight of Wands, so it could happen fast. Somebody's about to move on, guys. We got the Page of Pentacles here. Maybe they're tired of feeling left out in the cold by someone. It's definitely not working. They're not putting in any more work with this person. They're choosing to move on. Somebody's moving on. They could have been keeping their eye on everything with the Page of Swords energy. And then here's the Death card. And Two of Cups in Reverse with the Ace of Cups in Reverse. Four of Wands is in Reverse. And then Swimming Away to Calmer Waters. So they're definitely moving on, guys. They're ending things. It's just for a little bit right now that was fighting with themselves about do I stay where I'm at? Or do I move on? But when they move on, they're moving on to somebody from their past. Which means they're still in contact with someone from their past. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.